What's going on, everybody? What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're out here and we're going to be doing some Mondo bluegill fishing with bobbers and b -maw. And hopefully we can cut out, catch some fish today. Conditions are pretty good. The water temperature's going down, kind of the end of the summer right now, and we're hoping to catch a lot, a lot of flu uh, a lot, a lot of bluegill, so we can have a little fish fry. So we're meat hunting today. Let's get in there and rip some lips. There's a fishy. Nice, bud. First one of the day is a quality bluegill. Oh yeah. I think I'm gonna throw this guy back. He's looking a little albino, maybe a little sick. Not a lot of meat on there. What a first fish, though. I mean. We're getting them. Ripping some lips, dog. You got one. Oh! First big bluegill of the day. Not a bad one. Kind of on a little sandish um, island right now. First one falls victim to the little bee moth. Oh, that was a bass on there, bud. Come up and got my bobber. Little bass action. Little bass action. That's like six inches deep right there so i'm shocked there's much in there and now that you can't see the bottom that much and there's not a lot of weeds we might really be able to rip some bass out of here i got bass swimming under us right now we do. yeah that's pretty cool you can see a lot of them we're in five foot here but i think it goes up really fast all right we're cruising now I'm trolling with that thing not, going to the back 40? not yet let's work our way around Oh my goodness! Did you see my bobber? Oh my gosh, the whole thing dumped under. That was crazy. The bobber just shot off to the right. Something big took that. I love when the bluegills just take it all, all at once. All right, let's get back in there and get old Big Chungus. Big Chungus? Just Big Chungus. That was right in the same. Oh, there he is. Yeah. Oh my goodness, dude. Look at the rod really bend. The that is a big fish. Dude. That is a big one. Oh <laughs> my god. Dude, is that a 12? Well now we know why the bobber went so far to the side. That's that's gotta be at least an eleven inch fish. It's so it's such a big fish that like the uh, the hook almost feels like it you're trying to take it out of a bass. His lips are so big and like so bony. That is craziness. He might not be 11, but he is for sure, I mean, the thickest one we've got. That's huge. Ginormous bluegill, like huge. Biggest one by far into the meat locker. Boom. Let's get some more. Well, I'm glad we came over here now, geez. What do you think that weighed? Um, uh, maybe a pound, two ounce. You got one, goodness. Probably not big enough to keep, but still a good one. Good for lake. This pond's just got too many big ones in it. Shig on. I wish I could just drop a line all the way in those weeds. Oh my. I literally pulled it out of its mouth. I could feel the lip. There's one. Or not. There he is. That's a good one. Oh man, he was pulling so hard. I thought it was a bigger one. That's what happens when you bluegill fish. You never know what you're gonna pull up. Could be big chungus, or it could be this little squeaky thing. Yeah, that's good. Uh, largemouth bait. Here, little fishy, fishy, fishies. We we're doing real good. We kind of slowed down. There's one. That is a quality. That's a hog. That good. Come on, you wanna crack that meat locker there, brother? Yeah. Boom. Those dynamite. Oh, there's one. Nice, brother. Uh-oh. Caught up in the trolling motor. We got him. Stop over there for you, but. Someone's got to go to the bathroom, so. I'm just kidding. Bluegills for days. Not the right size, though. Trying to get some big ones. This boat's a lot more stable than I thought in the beginning. 
yeah. once you kind of just get you get your sea legs, you're good. Hey, hey! Oh, there we go. That is a big fish, dude. That's got to be a bass. Oh my goodness gracious. <laughs> Dude, dude, beautiful. dude. Oh my gosh. That's huge. I'm regretting not bringing my scale. Look at the size of that. Good call. Huh. Look at this. It's an absolute monster. <laughs> oh, you know what does? A mystery tackle box does. But this is, there's no way it's a 12, but it's. Here, hold on. That's a, that is the biggest bluegill I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> that is a full blown 11 inch bluegill, man. That is a damn hog. It's probably one of the biggest bluegills I've ever caught in my life. Solid 11, maybe even bigger, but. That is a big, big fish. Into the meat locker. I'm gonna be eating good. No, I think we need to measure it for everybody. So there's no hold stipulation. Hold on, hold on, hold on. That's an 11 inch bluegill. Might even be like 11 and a half. That is a big, humongous fish. <laughs> that pointing down. It's at least 11 and a quarter. Yeah, every bit of it. That is just insane, man. Two absolute studs. Both of these are 11 inch bluegills, confirmed with tape measure. Giants, this thing has gotta be over a pound. This one's probably around a pound. This might be a pound and a half. Monsters. Let's get back in there. Got it. That's a big gill. There you go. It's a nice one. That's sweet, man. It's a good looking fish. Really good one. That's probably a seven or eight incher. Probably eight. Well, that one I caught about broke the rod in half. I mean, I can't believe that. There he is. Let real fast. Oh, I thought we were hooked together. Well, whatever this is, is big. Oh, geez. Man. That's another freaking monster. It's no 11 incher, but he's probably at least nine. Long, might be a nine and a half. That's a good one right there. Another one for the meat locker. Yeah. There we go, while he's snagged up. Ooh, nice one. That's a good fish. Ready? There we go. And he's still snagged. <laughs> this is why you don't ever take your brother fishing. Well, I got this aircraft cable on here that I should be able to pull it right out. You can't break the rod though. Aircraft cable. Is that what they used to bungee jump? Easy on the rod tip. What kind of line you got on there? It's not actually fishing line. This is a rope. <laughs> Paracord. Uh, that is a solid gillio. Another one for the old meat locker be eating good tonight alrighty hope you guys enjoyed today's episode and learned a little bit about bluegill fishing like I was saying you need a one knot hook you need a small little probably around quarter ounce um, split shot and then about two foot above that you're probably gonna want your bobber it depends on the conditions you're fishing but today we're fishing around four foot of water right off a lot of these reeds and cattails so that's what you want to do when you're bluegill fishing make sure you guys give it a try bluegill are everywhere in the country so you can pretty much catch them anywhere and then as time goes on and you find better spots uh, you'll be able to get those bigger fish to bite and um, good luck hope you guys enjoyed this episode make sure you subscribe to the channel and we will catch you on the next episode peace y'all